My name's Nathan Kinch. I'm uh, one of the founding partners of Greater Than X. We're a research, design and strategic advisory firm. And we focus on helping brands navigate all of this complexity and change that's happening in the world of personal data and particularly this notion that people like us or data subjects, we're gaining more control of our data. What does that mean to a brand? What does trust mean to a brand? And those are the types of challenges that, that we're helping big brands all around the world across financial services, telco, insurance, health, government, trying to help them find some meaningful answers. So at Predict, myself and Ollie Smith, the Chief Strategy Officer at Telefonica Alpha Health, we're going to be sharing the stage. It's a great opportunity. We're, uh, we're good mates. But um, we're going to be talking about data trust by design, which is something that we developed at Greater Than X. It's a way to bring trustworthy data practices into customer-facing experiences, things like product marketing, privacy notices, terms and conditions, product disclosure statements, consent notices, the overall design of an actual experience. Um, and what I'm going to be focusing on is a little bit like of the theory, you know, where did this come from? Why, why do we need it? Uh, that's probably the biggest question that we've got to answer. And then Ollie's going to be supporting me by showcasing how Telefonica Alpha Health has been implementing data trust by design within their organizational context, with their customers, with their users for the last 12 months. So one of the questions that we often get asked is why do data trust by design when we've already got privacy by design or privacy and security by design? And it's a great question. It's actually something that we spend a lot of time thinking about at Greater Than X. Privacy by design or privacy and security by design was developed by Anker Valkian about 20 years ago in the late 90s and it's had an incredible impact. If you look at the data, it's decreasing risk, it's increasing competitiveness, it's increasing trust. But one of the problems that organizations are having is it's really an internal thing. The principles and the practices of privacy and security by design, they're not making their way to customers. And so we felt there was a gap. And that's why we developed Data Trust by Design principles, patterns and practices to bring trustworthy experiences to life. Now, the reason that this is really important to a brand is that if we assume that we keep moving on the trajectory that we think we're going on as a result of things like the GDPR and all the other regulations around the world, we're going to gain more control of our data as individuals. And that means if a brand's going to earn access to data, if they're going to competitively differentiate, if they're going to do deep personalization, they need trust. They need people to trust them so that they share data. At the moment, the things that we're observing with data trust by design, a 60% increase in comprehension compared to the way that things currently work, a 10 times decrease in time to comprehension, which is really meaningful. Because you think about a privacy policy or a terms and conditions experience at the moment, fundamentally broken. But most importantly, from a brand's perspective, there's an eight times increase in customers' propensity to willingly share their data when we implement data trust by design. If brands can do that consistently, increase the likelihood that their customers share data by eight times, they are going to competitively differentiate and they might even win their market. And that's really what Data Trust by Design is all about.